Rupert Murdoch has given every indication over his long career that, for want of a better term, he would die in the top job. In fact, he joked at one stage about being immortal. So that said, are you surprised by this big announcement overnight? Uh, well, not not really. I, and I'm sure his influence, I think he's made it quite clear in his uh, statement that he's, he will remain extremely influential and you know, he remains the controlling shareholder in terms of the Murdoch Family Trust. So I'm I, I'm not sure how much will really change. Only time will tell. But his son, Lachlan, is very much on the, you know, same wavelength in terms of the approach to politics and the media business. So I don't think much, if anything, will change. Rupert Murdoch is giving up in this move, at least day-to-day, -day, executive control of, uh, of News Corp. So that in mind, what do you believe will be his legacy, Malcolm Turnbull? Well, look, he's built a vast global media empire and no doubt the business pages will give him credit for that. But he has done enormous damage uh, to the democratic world and in particular to the United States. The angertainment uh, ecosystem that Fox News, uh, above all, has created in the US has left America angrier and more divided than it's been at any time since the Civil War. Uh, it is sought in order to uh, keep its ratings up. It is sought to enrage Americans, divide Americans and divide them against each other. And it has knowingly, and Murdoch had a personal hand in this, as we know, uh, it has knowingly spread lies, uh, most consequentially the one that Donald Trump, where Donald Trump claimed to have won the 2020 election. And of course, that created the environment which made the January 6 insurrection possible. So, you know, you could go on. I mean, Murdoch has been the largest voice in the English-speaking world, or the loudest voice at any rate, uh, to deny the reality of global warming and delay action to address it. Uh, so, you know, it's his Brexit. Would Brexit have occurred without... Murdoch's support, I very much doubt it. Trump would never have been president without the platform that Fox News created. So it's a, it's a hell of a legacy, I have to say. Lachlan Murdoch, as you uh, say, in your view, won't change the ship too much. But many observers see him, Malcolm Turnbull, as, if anything, even more conservative than his father. Do, do you think that may influence the course News Corp and Fox ventures on now? Look, knowing both of them over a very long period of time, my impression is that Lachlan is more ideologically conservative than Rupert. I think Rupert has always been fascinated by power. That's he's drawn to it, like, you know, a moth is to a, a flame. Uh, and so he's enjoyed exerting the power that he has over the political system. Um, and and his, Rupert's, you know, politics have evolved to be broadly right wing, I would say, but I, I think Lachlan, I agree, I think Lachlan is, if anything, more, more, more ideological than his father. So I don't think there's, I don't think there's going to be any change for the better, that's for sure. And, and what, if anything, does this move overnight mean for Rupert Murdoch's Australian operations? We're talking about the Australian, uh, the tabloids, including the Daily Telegraph and, of course, Sky News. Well, look, I'm sure they will continue in much the same vein. You know, they're, uh, they they are they have become uh, you know more propaganda than news. Uh, the Sky Sky News in Australia is is very much a facsimile of Fox News in the United States. I mean, let's face it, Fox News has been from a commercial point of view hugely successful, and you know that this is the that this is the single this is the big problem because that they have kept people engaged. Uh, in other words, watching their platform, their channel, by riling them up, by creating division and anger and resentment and, you know, uh, stoking that. And that, I guess, is the same way uh, the algorithms on some of the social media platforms operate as well. But the problem there is while that might be good for Fox's ratings or Sky News's ratings, uh, is it leaves you with a society uh, that is incredibly divided, that's increasingly polarised, that struggles to work together to meet common challenges, and so is therefore weaker.
And I mean, this is what America's enemies seek to do. I mean, Putin's disinformation campaigns in the United States are designed to turn Americans against each other. I mean, this has mm. been the way, this is this is the way you undermine yeah. your opponent, right? You, div, you know, divide, that's why we say divide and conquer. And so America is weaker today uh, because of Fox News. It is, it is more divided, it is angrier, and we saw the evidence of that um, on January 6th, and it remains more angry, more divided than it has ever been, at least since the Civil War. Malcolm Turnbull, appreciate your time and insights this morning. Thanks for joining us. Thanks so much.